Hey everybody, Tim here with today's review of Doctor Who, story number 46, The Invasion. So, eight episodes, pretty, that's a relatively long for a Doctor Who story, two of which are missing. I believe it was number one and number four, I think it was. But they are animated, and I think this was actually the very first story that was completed to, by using the animated stories, which it was fine. It worked great, it looked fine, whatever. Uh, to be honest with you, though, it was it was bad. Like, I didn't really care for this story. I didn't think it was interesting. By the time I got to the end, like, to be honest with you, I, I wasn't even really paying attention. Like, I was just, like, especially the long stories. And this, it doesn't matter what it is, Doctor Who, Star Trek, whatever. Like, I have that difficulty, like, staying focused, especially if it's bad, if I don't like it. But since I'm doing these reviews, I feel like I have to do every single one. Like there are specific doctors that I absolutely do not like. Not looking forward to doing those because it's just going to be me bored through the whole thing. But it's part of the collection and I'm going to still do it. I mean, these reviews are like my opinion. This is just coming from me. And this is one of those, like, from the very beginning, like, the shout out to Professor Travers was interesting. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't get the actor to come back or something, but he's not in it. And then, like, he left his house to somebody else. I was like, oh, how convenient. But yet, I think he comes back later. So, I don't know. It was weird. Maybe he was busy doing another show. Who knows? We see, what is it, Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart's return, who is now a brigadier. And I do like his line where it's like, oh, it's been four years since I've seen you. And Jamie's like, what are you talking about? It's only been a few weeks. And like the, the doctor's just like, time travel, Jamie, time travel. And it's like, oh yeah. Like that's why the Jamie and like doctor relationship is so great to me. This is the first time the first story that we see unit what is it like the united nations intelligent task force or whatever like units important throughout the rest of doctor who especially with the third doctor but even going into the new who and stuff like that it's great the one conversation that really stood out to me was the brigadier talking to Zoe about how she can't do stuff because she's a woman and the the other female character in there and they're like well you bigoted piece of shit like they don't actually say that she calls him a bigot and she calls him a sexist and she calls him all sorts of stuff because men are superior and then they go to Jamie and they're like well you don't think that and he's like no of course not I didn't say that I mean he's right but I didn't say that and it's like no oh, I mean this is what 1968 so I was like damn like they were getting on some topics going on there I was I was actually surprised and then, like, the whole thing ended up being a big Cybermen twist. And the Cybermen were not scary. They were not interesting. Like, everything about them, like, they lost that appeal in this storyline. And, like, when they start busting out of the manholes and, like, there's hundreds of them in the streets and stuff like that. I was like, oh, like, that's kind of interesting. But why? Like, there's no context. And, like, I, just, I don't know. I just, I did not care about this story. I didn't think it was interesting. And then, like, finally, when we get to the end and, like, the doctor's trying to, like, find the invisible TARDIS. I was like, that's just dumb. Like, I don't know. For those who have seen it, eight episodes. What did you guys think? Especially it's all intact now. What do you guys think about seeing Brigadier Stewart? What did you think about finally seeing Unit for the first time? Go ahead. Let me know what you guys think about the Cybermen. And I will see you guys next time for Crotons.